they're ignorant, it's uh, disgusting, and it reflects poorly on them. There is growing outrage tonight surrounding a racially charged photo posted by a high school football player right before a big game. As ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen tells us, it's one of two incidents now prompting a call for swift action. Turned around and I looked at this and I said, Oh my goodness. That's sportscaster Brent Musburger in an ESPN documentary which looks at controversial shirts created by some Notre Dame football fans before a 1988 game versus a Miami team, plagued that season by several highly publicized arrests. A t-shirt nearly identical to this one making an appearance Friday night on social media, worn by a Cathedral Catholic football player after a win against Lincoln High, a school made up predominantly of minority students. In the post, a white player wears the shirt, which reads Catholics versus convicts and the Roman numeral three. A spokesperson for the Roman Catholic Diocese of San Diego says before the game, another post showed several players pretending to flash gang signs. In a statement, the diocese says we unreservedly apologize for the poor judgment shown by the students who posed for and posted the racist photos. We have also communicated our apologies directly to the administration at Lincoln High. They're ignorant. It's uh, disgusting and it reflects poorly on them. Tony Young is the founder of the nonprofit Rise San Diego. I don't live too far from Lincoln High School. I know that the parents and the, and the kids, you know, really take pride in who they are. If we allow our young people to grow up with that type of ignorance, of a detrimental to our community as we as we grow. Diocese officials wouldn't comment on specific discipline, but say steps will be taken to prevent this shameful event from reoccurring. Young says along with the discipline, the school needs to address the underlying issues. Clearly there's something going on at that high school that needs to be addressed. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. And the diocese says it will be formulating a program to remind the entire school that words and actions matter.